of the fundamental basic things with regard to retail is what I call as the basic retail model. What is the basic retail model? Basic retail model is the basic fundamental tenets that any retail business has to follow. It starts with having a truly different store. Why truly different store? Because the store is your product. If your store is not different, why should the customer come to your store? Tell me one good reason why they should come to your store. Actually, the other example is, if all the soaps were the same, would you go and buy one specific soap? No. Why? Because everything is the same. Similarly, the first step towards a sustainable, successful retail business is a truly different store. The second is when the retail business offers better value. A word of caution here, value is not about price, it is not about discount. Then what is value? Value is service. Service is one part of value. So giving experience to the customer? Experience is also one part of value. Quality. Quality is also one part of value. Satisfaction. Giving the word satisfaction. Of the but satisfaction comes out of value. So what is value? Giving the work out of the product and service. So, how do you define work? So, by using it. Any other? Service is also one. So, so providing better service than our competitors. Sure, but again, that's only one part of value. You total up all the pluses. You go to the store, AC is working, nice. Parking is easy, great. Lighting is nice, great. I see this nice new product, very nice. I see this offer, great. Staff says, good evening sir, I am happy. All the nice pluses. Then all the minuses. When I come out for billing, I have to wait for half an hour. When I am picking up a packet, it breaks. And all the art is on my shoe. Or like you said, bucket I take, it breaks. All the minus. All the plus, all the minus. When I total it up, if it is plus, I have value. But, uh, one, 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 one second. If it is minus, I don't have value. So what are all the things that can give you plus or minus? Service, range, promotions, Speed. quality, experience. Right? All that will give you value. But any one element cannot be held accountable for giving value. You can't say that great quality gives value. Great quality at very high prices, no value. Great quality at average prices, value. Great quality at great price, but very good service, value. Louis Vuitton showroom. The person who goes and buys a Louis Vuitton product, do they get value or not? Why? Louis Vuitton is having that image. No, because the pluses compared to the minuses totals up to plus. But sir, I have heard that one bad experience is enough to take away a customer from you. Yes. Why? So in that because case, the minuses then start adding up in the mind. On the other hand, the counter to the point is, <clears throat> if I have a strong relationship, say remember I was telling you that shopping is a habit. Habit is based on trust and trust is developed based on experience. So if I have trust, you take one mistake, I forgive you. Two mistakes, three, can I still forgive you, but I'll say, hey, be warned. Four, five, six, seven, eight mistakes. Obviously I'll say, I don't want to waste my time with you. I'll walk away. On the other hand, if I don't have a habit, if I don't have a trust on you, right, I'm coming for the first time, and you do a mistake, what will I do? That is why I shouldn't have gone to this guy. Why? Because I don't trust you. So when you have trust, you can afford to make some mistake. You can't afford to make a lot of mistake. The next element is unmatchable mix. Which is, you should offer a product range which is different. 
at least one fourth of your range should be different. And this is where private label varies. Right? Last but not the least is the experience in the store. What we were talking about. The customer should have a positive, memorable experience. Not a negative, memorable experience. Positive, memorable experience. Right? The beauty of this model is it all feeds into one another. Differentiated store is supported by unmatchable mix. Unmatchable mix by itself can be a memorable experience. Value, memorable experience and differentiated store. So if a retailer is able to crack this successful, sustainable, viable retail business. If even one of this collapses, this just goes for a seat.